Okay, now in an OVI, if you are stopped for an OVI and asked to take a breath alcohol test, you're typically given a choice either to take a test or to refuse a test. If you do submit to a breath test, your license would be suspended for 90 days by what's called the administrative license suspension. If you refuse a test, your license is actually under a one-year suspension. Technically, you are not eligible for driving privileges on a test case for 15 days, for a refusal 30 days. Now, in some jurisdictions, for example, Franklin County in Columbus, Ohio, some of the mayor's courts in Franklin County, you can have an option to seek what's called a stay of your administrative license suspension, which would take the suspension that was imposed, set it aside through an appeal, allow you to actually get your driver's license back and drive around with a valid license while your case is pending and while your attorney is sorting out your options on the case. So that is one thing that you can, uh, can do to get yourself back on the right foot. Driving privileges would allow you to drive from work to work, school, other basic needs like medical appointments, grocery store, things like that. Uh, there's various procedures that go into applying for driving privileges, so it's going to be important to make sure you have an attorney who knows how to get driving privileges set up for you, whether it be under the administrative license suspension or any suspension that came from the judge as a result of the case. Thanks.